Alrighty, so what we're gonna do right here is let me first make sure this is working properly. All right. So what we see here is there's the social share buttons which flow on the side, but what we really want to do is put a table of contents. So we're going to go first over to the plugins here, and we're going to hit Add New. And type in Table of Contents. And this is the one you want to install, Lucky WP. Hit install now. And then you hit activate. All right, now that it's activated, we want to edit the um, overall template for blog posts. And we're going to go to edit with Elementor. And here it is, blog post template. And we actually, I saw something about no comments here. We want to remove the comments completely. All right. Icon, we'll add a little date icon there. Make it white. There we go. All right. So now to add the table of contents, what we're going to do is drag and drop a text editor in this little column here. And you're going to click text. And you're going to put a bracket. L W P T O C, which is Lucky W P WordPress Table of Contents. We're going to close it out here. You can go to Visual, and right now this kind of sticks with everything. And well, we should probably make this whole section a little larger. Let's make this um. Not for it. I believe the standard is 1180. There we go. And so currently, this, see how when we scroll, it sticks with it? So it's offset of 180. We're probably going to have this in offset. So we go to advanced. Motion effects, sticky top. And we're just going to give it 80. Oops. And if we scroll, we'll see that there's some space here. Um, but we're not really going to know what it looks like until we're done setting up the plugin. So let's go here and settings, table of contents. And we want to change enumeration to without. We want to make this a table of contents. For show, we'll just put a plus, make things a little simple here, or minus here. And then you just hit save. Then you go next to appearance. Title font size, we're going to give it. 80% items, 70. The background color, I'll make the blue of District 4 Depot. So if you want to check, you know, just grab one of the colors here. So if we go to style, the colors, default color should be saved. It looks like they're not. Let me um, go to colors here. And 
district floor. Here we go. So even though it doesn't show the blue, it is selected. We're not going to do a border color of the title. Let's make that white. The link, it can be white. If you hover, we'll make it show up as red. Visited, we'll make it orange, see what that looks like. I mean, ideally, you really want to stick with the client's brand colors. Um, the brown probably, but brown probably wouldn't look proper over blue. So anyways, and hit save changes. Then you go to the next tab, auto insert. Make sure that's not checked. That's fine. So we'll go to processing headings, post, save changes. Then we'll go to miscellaneous here, last tab. We're going to skip this stuff because it'll clutter it up. So you want to convert to lowercase and you want to replace underscores with dashes. And you can put it in the post here and you hit save changes. All right. Now let's real quick update. This little thing is in the way. Uh -oh. Update. Now I'm going to open a new tab. Oh, yeah. We also, after saving all these settings, once we're done, we're going to clear cache. All right. Now the cache is clear. Let's go over to blog. see what it looks like. There's our table of contents, but that's a little not so ideal. So also the column width here should be 20. Should be 20, 80. All right, we're good there. And what we'll do is give this interior box some padding on the left 20 right 20 there we go should be equally spaced there and then we'll go here make sure okay so this is something you definitely have to make sure is always checked is stay in column And see how this overlaps? We don't want that. So we're going to kind of edit this stuff here. We should also make them the brand colors. Not sure exactly what color red district floor is. Just fine. So the next thing we want to do is actually close up these gaps a bit here.
So 180 it overlaps. Let's let's try doing 280. See what that looks like. And then we hit update. Let's refresh this. Still overlapping. This is also very far down, so we go to the table of contents, the offset. Let's make this a lot less. And then we'll make this a little bit more, let's say 300. Now let's refresh the page. It's still cutting off one here. So we actually take a little bit away from the padding at the top. Give this a little bit of fudge. Almost there. Probably another 20 pixels. Let's say 40 pixels just to be safe. Let's do 360. And that works. We should really make it 350 because there's a little gap there. We could probably fill up a little bit. Yeah, it looks nice. But this text is very small, so let's work on that. Appearance. Let's do 90 and 80. Save changes. Just clear cache. There, that's a lot easier to read. Oh no. Since we made the text bigger, we have to adjust the padding again. All right, that's perfect. So now we got the table of contents and the social shares. But see how this picture's a little odd? Let's fix that while we're at it. Maybe if we change it to full, it'll cover everything. Let's get rid of the box shadow on the column itself. And we'll give the image itself a box shadow. This can also be a little larger. Let's say published. 
by. You don't want it to link to that. Or that. Hit update. That looks much better. Here we go. The blog is looking good. Coming along. And that's how you add the table of contents here.